Hello and welcome! We're gonna do a number of new things in this tutorial. Precisely, we'll be importing text files into our program. And text files, I mean, actually, in this case, an entire book from Project Gutenberg, Harry Potter, actually. And we'll be saving them to a string variable and then creating our little dictionary of synonyms, which we're gonna use to swap words out. Multiple words in a text, we can put whatever we want in this dictionary. And we're going to print out the final result. So, um, let's just get through some important notes right here. This Harry Potter text file is in the same folder as my Python file called reading text files. As long as these are in the same folder, this code is going to work. So this right here imports it into Python. This saves the book into a string variable. So if we say type text and we print that or even if we just let me close that print and there you go that's a string so what we can do to make um, sure that we're not dealing with too much text and we don't have to wait too long is we can take a selection of it and I think what I initially chose was 5,000 characters. So that would be, you know, if the new tweets are 2,800, and 2,800 times 2, I think that would be 5,600. There you go. So now that's 200 tweets. So, and print that. That is the text. So right now, in order to basically take... Um, some words from here and replace them with their synonyms. I guess we're going to have to select the words and then create the dictionary of synonyms. Um, let's see. Private drive. I guess, you know, D equals to dictionary. Now, D. And this is where we can have fun with it. So we can have Harry. We can replace Harry with... Hmm. <laughs> Kid magic. I don't know. I think that's a cool synonym. So you can actually replace both Harry Potter and Harry. Kid magic. We can replace Harry Potter. And I wonder if um, it's ever in all caps. No, it would only be in the title at the very start. So we can have Harry. I guess we can have Mr. or Mrs. Dursley. Um... Grinnings. I thought I, I, I would have run in Hermione here, but only it's only the Dursleys. I think there's Dudley. Uh, okay. D. Dudley. And Dudley, I think, is a really mean kid, so we're going to call him Mean Kid. And just to make these perhaps easier to locate, I can add some extra spacing, even though this is not exactly what you would do in a book. But what this is going to do is make it make it easy for us to instantly recognize that what we're doing is working. So we've got dictionary keys and dictionary values right there. Now, how do we go about replacing things? Well, I'll get to that in a second. But for now, I just want to make sure this dictionary has worked. So yes, Harry, Kid Magic, Harry Potter, Kid Magic, Dudley, Mean Kid. Okay, so time to make this do the magic. This right here prints the text. We need the new text to become this section. So what I'm going to need to do is, and pay attention here, say that the new value of text is now only the first... 5,600 characters. So maybe I can just print text to make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. Right, so that's the text. So what we need to do now is replace Harry with Kid Magic. So this can be done by basically doing three text dot replace Harry with Kid Magic. But we can do it in a loop using this dictionary and make it so modular and infinitely expandable. So we can say for um, 
key, I guess, for key in dictionary. That makes kind of sense. Um, word dot, or what was it, text, text dot replace. And what we want to do is replace the key with the value, which is dictionary of that key. Now this looks like it should work, but it's not. And I'm just going to run it and double check that my prediction is correct. Yeah, boy who lived Harry Potter. This is a very, very important point um, and very likely source of a lot of errors in people's programs. Text.replace does not permanently change the string text. Some functions permanently change lists, some functions permanently change strings, but this one does not. So we have to say the new value of text is the one where the, the key is replaced with the value. So where Harry is replaced with Kid Magic and so on. So right now, when we run this, there it is, Kid Magic. I'd be curious like how that reads actually. Kid Magic. Kid Magic Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. Um the Dursleys had a small son, so called mean kid. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. They didn't I guess didn't mean kid mixing with a child like that. No, 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 Screaming Mean Kid into his high chair. Because Mean Kid was not having a tantrum. Cool. It works perfectly well. So, you can expand this. I mean, we can just go and add D and uh, say Mr. Dursley. Dursley. I hope I'm not misspelling it. And what can Mr. Dursley be equal to? I don't know. Sir. Father of Mean Kid. And we can give him some flares and just run this one more time. Yeah. Now, as you can see, this can be a lot of fun. I mean, you can actually take any book in the world and replace all the names of the heroes with you and your friends and maybe change the location names and then really customize text very, very easily. And pretty much, once you have a dictionary, that's all you need to do it. So that was a lot of fun. I will see you in the next tutorial. Well, that's all for this one, folks. For more videos, subscribe right there. That bell button thing, that's kind of important to click because we've got brand new ones in Python Fundamentals basically five days a week for a good while. Um, this playlist where this video belongs to is, bingo, there. And a whole host of other Python videos, there. So there you have it. Enjoy yourselves, guys. See you later.